Hi there and welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. I'm Jonathan Parker and today we're on our pontoon um, in the River Hamble and we're going to show you this Beneteau Ombrine 801. Now this is a 2003 model and this is actually um, designed with Beneteau with a yacht in mind. Um, so it's a very special type of boat. This was made in the same era as say the Genoa Leader 805, the Sea Rays, the Doralds, all the sports boats you'd think of. But this actually has a classic look, it has a yacht look to it. So if you're coming from a yacht to a motorboat, this is the perfect boat for you. You still have that familiarity um, that you would have um, with your yacht. So just follow me round and we'll show you all the benefits it has to offer. Now, first of all, you can see this lovely wood teak finish to the top decks. It really gives you a very yacht-like feel. And it had the stainless steel fittings, large cleats, much larger than you'd normally see on the sports boats. And also it has a brilliant walk round. And even like the way the coach roof looks like it's a yacht. It's just trying almost to be very yacht-like in its appearance. Um, and the hull, it's a lovely blue hull on here. And um, this is actually a wrap. It's been added by um, the owners and it really um, gives it a really nice modern feel. And it's actually a really lovely color. And they've even gone to the trouble of putting the Ombrine 801 logo in the wrap as well. Really nice touch. Um, but it's also got an extended platform, which is laid to teak, which makes access very easy as well. As you can see, it's just a simple step on. And you've also got fender holders which pop up so you don't trip over them so you can just simply pop them up and then pop them down for your fenders to go in and then you can see this sweeps around and then into the cockpit entrance now the cockpit entrance is quite a unique styling then you it's quite unusual to see this sort of styling on a sports boat um because you've got a very interesting curved plywood helm seat which is a really nice feature which then matches onto the tabletop which again is formed plywood and then you've got your teak decking which continues through the cockpit area and you've got a lovely sweep of curved seating as well the table itself does fold over and then it becomes a smaller table when you can change position of that and also has a grab rail for when you're out at sea now this boat is a category b rated so it's a much higher category than most sports boats which are category c so it's a seagoing boat and you can really feel that when you're out to sea because you've got these high freeboard sides as well um, and you can see it's very easy to actually um, walk around this boat safely um, and i just want to show you the walk around my for sale sign gets in the way of us slightly but as you walk around you can see it's got really wide side decks and when you come up to the front um, if i just lower that slightly there's actually a seat area that's been cut into the bow so you can actually sit here and then look out to sea or monitor your anchor and your anchor is mounted very yacht like again with a teak finish up and down buttons you can also control it from the helm as well but it's a really nice sort of setup and then you've got a chain locker down there and it's all chain as well and there's even a spare anchor in the bow as well so there's a there's a kedge anchor as well but as you can see you've got the really good firm rails all the way around there's grab handles here so again when you're out at sea you can feel very safe walking around this boat I'd even like the way the windows are finished. It's very sort of almost Halbo Rassi-ish the way the window frames are laid out. It's very much um, yacht-like. Um, as you can see the bimini above my head um, and um, I actually um, travelled with this up so you can travel with the bimini up. It was quite stable as well. Um, it's actually really um, um, nice because it does also have all the covers around the sides. Um, so we've got all the camper covers as well but what's quite nice about this boat um, it's quite a nice feature is actually there is just a console cover so as you can see here there's a full cover that just goes over the console so you can leave the bimini up and um, and then it's very easy just to put this boat to bed because it covers all the electronics and everything like that and um, that's also a really nice feature just for quick of use um, if you wanted to in the winter you can put all the camper covers round um, you can also take the frame completely off and then it allows you to be a completely open boat. Um, there's enough room for four adults around the table um, and um, each um, seat has storage underneath. So as you can see, there's storage under each one and it continues all the way around. So all this seating underneath is storage. Um, if you wanna know more storage, there's storage also under the helm seat. So if you come backwards, there's a nice locker there for 
for putting extra things in as well and um, and then also in the cockpit area there's an outside sink which is a nice feature you don't it's a hit or miss whether you get one or not but hot and cold water not just cold like you get in a lot and then a um, a cozy double helm seat and um, the helm is quite nicely laid out it's got a um, it's got a nice um, plotter and the plotter's actually got AIS as well believe it or not so there's an AIS um, um, receiver I don't believe it's a transmitter because we had a look on marine traffic and we couldn't see ourselves but it's showing AIS targets on there um, and also this is fitted with a Volvo Penta CAD 300 so a 285 horsepower Volvo Penta um, great performance picked up really nicely onto the plane and we're cruising about um, sort of 23 to 25 knots and um, with a clean bottom I think it's a 30 knot boat um, so a really nice um, a really nice example of the engine very clean as well as you can see from this picture the engine is very clean very well laid out and good access as well um, also though quite unusually also quite unusually the Volvo Penta um, has a digitalized system as well so this will actually show you um, all the engine management um, systems. So even things like turbo pressure, oil pressures, temperatures, but also fuel economy. There's a fuel meter on it as well. So it'll actually tell you the fuel economy on this boat. And at the moment, it's averaging about 33 litres an hour. Um, so that's how much fuel this boat is using on average at the moment. Um, so actually, it's a very economical boat. Um, but with the CAD 300, you get your electronic controls. So rather than old mechanical controls, you get a nice modern feel of electronic controls. Um, and this is on a stern drive as well so you get the option of lifting the stern drive up and down as well as it's got Lenko trim tabs as well so again when you're out at sea you've got full control of the systems now it's also is fitted, fitted with a bow thruster so not only are we single engine on a stern drive we also have a bow thruster as well um, which operates nicely and we can see all our controls here these also operate not only um, bits on the outside like the wipers but also the water pump for the inside and the accessories for the inside as well um, which we're now going to pop down below so as we go down below um, it's very yacht like again the steps but this is where you really get the feel of a Benito yacht because as you come down you can round the front table then this table can convert into a double as well the table um, drops down onto a ledge and then we've got two infill cushions um, but you can really get a feel for how it's laid out like a yacht um, nice fitted and finished cupboard doors with storage behind and um, there's a nice skylight above if i lift it up we can draw some more light in with a blind as well um, but what I really like is how much this feels like a yacht, especially even the galley layout and um, even the design of it um, just feels like you've just stepped down into a yacht. So Beneteau have gone the other way from the sports boat manufacturers into this design and in a lot of ways it makes it very unique to the market being this sort of style. Um, a large fridge as well for a sports boat with freezer compartment above. Um, which is in nice shape um, gas hob and then we've got a sink as well over there and again very yacht like we've got a downstairs vhf there's also a wireless one for upstairs as well which connects to it and um, and then we go can go through into the heads and the heads itself um, i quite like this finish this wood handle with the stainless fittings um, manual pump toilet with storage underneath and a cupboard up there and then it does have a window as well and a mirror so again nicely laid out and there's fairly good headroom in here as well for a small sports boat um, as i always like to say i'm six foot and i can just about i've probably got another half inch above my head um, so i can use the toilet quite happily and then um, as with most sports boats they have a, um, a small aft cabin now it was only really the you know leader 805 that um, that I knew of that had a separate door to this cabin. Most of them have a curtain or it's open. Um, but the Beneto Ombre 801 has this. And if I just show you the door to start with. Um, so a nice finish to the door with stainless steel fitting. And then through into the, um, you can see the nice double seating here. And then through into the aft cabin. Very much a sports boat 
um, cabin, which you can lay down. It can also be used for storage down here. Um, there is a cupboard at the back as well, which is access um, to certain points, but there's two windows in here as well. So there's one just there, and then another one there which are both open. Um, so you can see that this is very much a sports boat layout but in a, tr in a yacht style. Um, so I'll just give you one last sweep around and then I'll pass you up that way. And as you can see, you can hopefully now you can get a real sort of feel for the Benito on Brian 801. And, um, and I really feel this is a great um, opportunity to get quite a rare boat in great condition as well. Now this is newly imported to the UK and um, this had spent most of its life in France but when it was imported the VAT was paid on it so the VAT has been paid on it um, very recently indeed um, and the new owners have done some work to it as well um, they fully serviced the drive leg including new cone clutch and it's a very very nice feeling drive um, as well. It's a very sturdy boat, very capable boat. So if you're interested in a um, in an eight to eight and a half meter sports boat um, with great accommodation, a nice traditional feel, um, but still um, got all the modern features, then I suppose this is the one for you. Um, so thank you for watching another video from Park Owners Boat Sales and I um, hope to see you again on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk and but for now um, we'll see you soon.